Volumetric Analysis of an Acid Solution In Part A, a primary standard acid solution is prepared and used to standardize a sodium hydroxide solution. In Part B, the standardized sodium hydroxide solution is used to determine the concentration of a monoprotic acid solution. Part A. Standardization of sodium hydroxide. Accurately weigh an amount of the acid close to the calculated value. Calculate the exact molarity using the amount weighed. Dissolve the acid in a small amount of distilled water. Transfer the dissolved acid using a funnel and a washing bottle into a clean 250 milliliter volumetric flask. Add distilled water until the bottom of the meniscus is at the mark. Shake well. Prepare the burette as demonstrated in another video using a sodium hydroxide solution of unknown concentration. Rinse a small, clean, and dry beaker with a small amount of the oxalic acid solution and discard the rinseate. Prepare a 10 milliliter volumetric pipette as demonstrated in another video. Measure 10 milliliters of oxalic acid solution and transfer it into a 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Add water to the 50 milliliter mark and add 5 drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Place the flask under the burette and start titrating very slowly by allowing a steady flow of drops while swirling the flask continuously. When the pink color starts to linger, add the titrant sodium hydroxide dropwise. Add one drop, close the stopcock, swirl the solution and see if the pink color stays. If not, then continue adding the titrant one drop at a time with a break between each addition until the pink color stays. You may even have to add a partial drop when you're near the end point. When upon addition of one drop, the pink color remains in the solution, stop titrating. Record the final burette reading. 
Repeat the process at least twice with 10 milliliter aliquots of the acid. Your partner should prepare the additional titration samples while you titrate the first sample. Part B. Determination of the unknown concentration of an acid solution. You will repeat Part A except that the oxalic acid will be replaced with an acid of unknown concentration. Clean the glassware and put away the equipment.